Oh, so close. He's literally just about a, a bunch of scaffolding. It's not even a building anymore. Oh, oh we did it. Okay, that's enough. That's good. Hello, everybody. It's the 46 here, and welcome back. Today, we're checking out a cool game called Airships Conquer the Skies. So, this game is just about to come out of early access. It's in about two weeks. So, I feel like we should just have a look at the tutorial, see if we can master this game. Okay, here we go. Here's the first level. So, good morning, cadet. Glad to see you could join us today. I'm Commandor. Commodore? Yeah, I can't pronounce that. And I'm here to be an instructor. Over the next few lessons, I'll teach you what you need to know about airships. How they operate, how to command them, their strengths, and their weaknesses. Shall we begin? I reckon we shall. Okay, some basic information on how to navigate. You can move with WASD or arrow keys. Zoom in and out with the scroll wheel or the plus and minus. Okay, here we go. Your ship is composed of rectangular modules. So it looks like these ones here. Um, the currently highlighted module is the suspendium chamber. It's gonna be a lot of big words in this game, isn't there, guys? The suspendium crystal inside, it generates lift for your ship, keeping it in the air. The chamber can be adjusted, allowing your ship to move up and down. The effect of suspendium weakens at higher altitudes, which means your ship can only reach a certain maximum altitude. The, prop uh, the propeller module produces propulsion for your ship, allowing it to move back and forward. That's this guy here. Both suspendium chambers and propellers require coal to function. This is stored here. It's the coal storage, okay. The HMS Lion wouldn't be much of a warship without some basic weapons. So we got our cannons there. This is our ammunition storage. And this is the crew quarters. That's pretty cool. This hatch is used to supply a ship with material. Um, I don't think that's how you spell material, but okay. Depending on its size, a ship may need one or more hatches or cargo doors. Okay. Finally, this is the bridge where you controlled, where you control it. Um, if the bridge is destroyed or with without crew, you'll be unable to issue commands to the ship, but I will keep fighting. With this quick tour of the ship done, it's time to do a simple combat situation. Okay, here we go. Some basic information. Whoa. It's chugging along guys, look at that. Can we give it commands. Oh we can move. Here we go, let's move like right here. Oh, <laughs> nice and close. This guy's gonna get wrecked on. It's gonna get exploded, here we go. We'll zoom in a little bit. Excellent, we've smashed this circuit outpost. Let us continue to the next part of your training. Your next command is the HMS Bear. This guy looks really weird. To improve the ship's survivability, the Bear has a fire point. Two massive tanks of water used by the crew to put fires out. Okay. That's that guy right there. That's pretty cool. Currently, we're unarmed. To complete this part of training, install one or several cannon. Here we go, cannons. The question is, where do we want them? So I'm guessing at the front of the ship would be ideal. You can see it joins up with the rest of the ship, that's pretty cool. But that one didn't really join. Can we undo this? Can we move it? Um, delete? No, okay. I'm not sure how to delete stuff, okay. One of your cannons is not reachable from the main body. If you look at the floors and the ladders of your ship, you can see that there's no way to get it. Okay. Can I move it? Oh, undo Z. There we go, okay. I would have never guessed that, guys, but here we go. There we go. Now we got proper amount of cannons. Okay, there's also a warning at the top right. Remove module. The ship's modules are currently not all manually, mutually accessible. Which one doesn't let me get in? This one. And this one, it looks like. Okay, so if you go under, 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 now it can get accessed. This one can get accessed. This one can't, so press under. This one can't as well, yeah, okay. We'll just leave those ones there then. We can press start. We've discovered a new uh, outpost. The enemy is building not within the firing arc of the ship's guns because you're too far up. Move the ship down. There we go, so M is move, I think. Yep, there we go. Get nice and close to this guy. Now we start attacking. Look at that. Bullseye. I want to see this guy get absolutely destroyed. Here we go. Come on, buddy. Oh, there we go. Whoa, look at that. Success. You're 
education is progressing well. <laughs> Next we'll learn about how to position your ship to avoid enemy fire. This is the HMS Leopard, your command for, ex for this exercise. The Leopard has a repair bay, which contains tools and materials that allow the crew to partially repair damaged modules during a fight. Click start to begin this combat exercise. Okay, we don't have to build the ship this time. So you select the movement command, click the flip button, or hit F in ship, then click the behind the enemy tower, so we'll go over here. Okay. So we're gonna move all the way over here, guys. We'll get behind him, he can't actually shoot us because his guns are there. And then we're gonna flip. Flip. How do we flip this guy? F to flip. Oh, you have to be in the move mode. There we go. Okay. That makes sense. So while you're in the move mode, that's when you press F to flip it. Here we go. They can't do anything to us now. Move even a bit better. There we go. Can we take him down? I think we can. There's no way of combating us now. You see all that guys, they're doing hard work. Here you go, he's looking on fire. Here we go. I think it's almost destroyed. We might even be able to move down to a bit, because this cannon at the bottom doesn't look like it's getting any targets. Come on, buddy. So close. Yeah, we go. Look at that. He's starting to explode. Whoa, it's getting close now. I think he's really close to winning. This guy's bleeding, apparently. What? I think we've almost won. Come on, buddy. This, this space is really strong, guys. Jesus. How many bullets does it take? What happens if you move up closer? Does that help at all? Come on, look at him. He's crumbling. There's one gun left. He's exploding and everything. Oh! Something's happening. There we go. He crumbled in on himself. There we go. Excellent! Using careful maneuvering, you've defeated a more powerful enemy. So that's why he took so long. He's actually really powerful. This is the HMS Tiger, a light warship. It's due to go up against an enemy installation armed with rifles which are very effective against light armor. So before we get into the battle, we must up armor the HMS Tiger. Okay. So armor. Which one do we want? Does it say? Select one of the armor types from the list on the left. Okay. So what about shell armor? That sounds pretty cool. Do we just put it over? Looks like we do. Oh, look at that, guys. You can literally just drag it all over it. That's awesome. I'm not sure how effective shell armor is, but it's pretty cheap. Let's see if we can win this. Well, that's a long distance. I think we want to move up a bit close, don't we? Let's get right in there. We're definitely hitting them, but they're also hitting us as well. Hopefully our shell armor is good enough. What does this do? Oh, there you go. That's what it looks like from the outside. So that's what they're going to see. It's already on fire. This is good. Okay. I don't want to change sides because there's guns on the other side as well. There's no point in flipping it. This side's getting wrecked anyway, so we're pretty good. Okay, move even closer, and we definitely get hits. There we go. We're smoking, but I think that's just our generator. I think. Oh no, there's a fire there, we're definitely on fire. Quick, get the water guys, get the water in there! Get it in there! We're almost winning. Ah, uh, we can't even, we can't move in. Okay, they're back in command. We can do this. There's only two guns left, guys. You can go you've got this. Yes! Okay, now we can freely attack these guys. Oh my god, we did it! Look at that! They're crumbling! Come on! Attack, please! Please! Just shoot this one block here. It's so close to winning! Come on, look at the cannon! It's literally loading itself so slowly. These guys need to move in closer. I don't know what they're doing. Come on, it's a tiny bit, tiny bit. Here we go. It's just any bullet now is gonna get it. Any bullet now, guys. Let's move up nice and close. They keep like pulling themselves back. I think it's because we have back thrust is kind of broken. 
Okay, it's on fire. Is that? Is this gonna be the end of it? Okay, we can move up. We just can't move left and right because our back propulsion is absolutely obliterated. Oh, so close! He's literally just a, better, a bunch of scaffolding. It's not even a building anymore. Oh! Oh, we did it! Okay, that's enough. That's good. Different weapons are best suited to different situations. Cannon can easily be punched through armor, but fire slowly. Rifles are cheap and can quickly take down less armored targets. Grenades do a lot of damage, but they have a limited range. So I'm guessing we're using grenades now, aren't we? So we gotta add some more weapons. I want a grenade, honestly. We haven't seen grenades before. They look really cool. Let's try it out. Can't place it there. Let's place it in. Can't place it there either. Okay. Does this guy got any rifles? Are these guys rifles? Click, click on him. There's a repair bay, repair bay, bridge, quarters. Okay. Let's get a rifle out here. Rifle, rifle. And then we'll get a cannon in between those guys. Cannon, cannon. That looks pretty good. Let's see if we can win. What is this? It's an intruder. No target? Surely not. Drop a grenade in there, guys. Get in there. We're going to move him constantly because the ship's trying to dodge us. What we can even do is flip behind him. So I don't think he's got any guns in the back, does he? Is he gone already? Is he seriously down? We're doing pretty good. Let's move in closer. Whoa. Look at those grenades. They're effective. The red firing arcs indicate where your gunners can't bring. Okay. Gonna go a tiny bit closer, I reckon. Get maximum effectiveness. Look at those grenades. They just dominate the middle section. Has a... Ooh. All the front section got wrecked in our ship. It's on fire though. I think we got this. All the people in the ship are just like, yeah, what's, what's going on? I'm just sitting there. Oh, here it goes, guys. That's the final thing. Victory! You're becoming a full-fledged ship right. What the hell? Is this a tank? Land ships are fairly similar to airships, but instead of being held aloft by a suspendium and moved by propellers, they're carried on tracks. Yes, they are. These tracks carry the, LM the HMS Lancer. Compared to airships, land ships are faster, sturdier, but less flexible. Larger tracks and robotic legs are also available. So we need to add... Modules? No. Armor? I should just probably read it. Two new modules have been added under the weapons category, so weapons. Where the hell is weapons? Weapons? Here we go. Okay, so flat cannons and upward facing... Upward firing uh, arc of... Okay, I'm just starting on. Flat cannons have an upwards facing firing arc and require free space above them. Dorsal turrets have a wide field of fire but require free space above and to both sides. Okay. Once you've made your selection, click start to begin the fight. So, which one does the most damage? I think that one does. Where's damage? Blast damage of 8, splash distance is 6 meters. Okay, we're doing this dorsal one. Definitely doing dorsal. That connects up, that one doesn't. We can have one right there. No? There we go. We can't have this guy here because it has to have the full arc. So in fact, we could probably have this in the center. It'd be pretty good. And we have the weapons on either side, of course. Um, why can't we go? Okay, we couldn't have both of those. We'll just get one cannon. Sure, it's connected. Okay, let's just start. Let's, oh, he's in the sky. That's not good. This time, your ship faces off against a high-altitude radar held aloft by tanks of suspendium dust. Whoa! Look at this guy. I don't know if there's any point in moving him, but let's just try and move him. See what happens. Apparently, he's much faster, but I don't think he is. He's really slow. You can see the wheels. I just moved, so we can go down hills, up hills. It looks like pretty good. Okay, he keeps moving. I don't know if this guy can even hit us, because it looks like he's just shooting left and right. Or has he got a gun at the bottom? Okay, he's definitely got guns at the bottom. Who's winning? I honestly can't tell who's winning. Oh, okay, I think we've won this. We may or may not have won this, guys. We also might have lost, unless we flip it. 
There we go. That's what I'm talking about. See, I knew there was a reason we got that cannon on the front. It actually paid off to have a cannon. Paid off really well. In fact, if we move over slightly, we might be able to get hit by this target here. There we go. Look at that. That's awesome. I was getting twice the amount of firepower. But if we move to the left tiny bit. It's just out of reach, it looks like. Okay, hopefully he's in the target zone now. Oh, look at that. We're doing fantastic. He's so close to dying. Come on, buddy. You're just a skeleton at the stage. Give up already. I wonder what this icon means. I'm not sure. Come on. They're just sitting there. I'd be screaming. I'd be scared, guys. I'd be getting out of there. Straight away. Hmm, I wonder what happens if we go up closer. It looks like that might be able to hit the top target then. There we go. He's starting to attack now. Ooh, we're getting right in there. Come on, it's so close to dying. Can we even drive over this guy? I want to see if we can drive over him. Oh, we can. Oh, okay, no, we're not. I was going to say we can drive over him, but no. Let's get stuck a little bit. The design was successful. Thank you. Next, I'll teach you how to control fleets of multiple ships. You will command a small fleet of three Leopard class ships. Here we go. Um, combat starts with the first ship is selected to select a different ship, click on it or press tab. You can select multiple ships at once by holding shift, there we go. Let's move, flip and go over this way. Oh, he's already crashed into us, Jesus. That's not very cool. Is he shooting our own ship? Looks like he's shooting our own ship. Let me move this guy in. First up, one of our ships is stuck here. This guy, I reckon we should move him over here, flip him, get this guy here. So this guy handle this guy down here, and this guy over here will handle this guy. But of course, we're getting shot in the back. Let's get right in there. Go. Get up right nice and close, just so we can actually get rid of this guy, because it's annoying me at the moment. Wonder if we can get out of there. Nah, he's, he's royally stuck. How are we going? Where's one? Oh, he's on fire! This is getting good. Ronda! Oh! We come down a little bit. Just so we can get the target zone. He's almost dead. He's like really close. Oh, we lost our flight ability. We can no longer fly. Oh, we did it! Successful! Okay, this is the HMS Dragon. As before, it is complete except for its armaments. Armaments? Oh, armaments, yes. Armor. We should add some armor. Steel armor. Heavy steel armor. I want to try heavy steel. It's a bit expensive, but surely it's worth it. Okay, we've gone over budget. I don't think that's good. What we can do is upgrade or downgrade the steel in the middle. So instead of heavy steel, it's a bit cheaper. Anything's not directly on the outside. How much? We got 1800 bucks. What about just steel in the middle? It's dropping the price, but not quite enough. Okay, still need to drop price quite a bit. Okay, we're on the budget, this is good. Uh, we have a budget of $1600. What's the error here? Why can't we do it? Okay guys, looks like we didn't have any weapons on it, so I think we should add some weapons. So let's go cannons at the front, one there, one there, one there, and two at the top. Now we're going to need, oh okay, never mind, we're already over budget by a lot. Looks like we can't even afford much ammo, I mean much weaponry. Can we afford one? X to flip. We can't even afford one, okay, looks like we're going to have to downgrade some of our armor. Hang out the middle, there we go, now we can start. This is a very weak ship, I think, and we're versing two of them. This is hopefully going to go well, but I have my doubts. We keep moving this guy to get right in perfect angle. Okay, let's do this. Hopefully we can flip in time, because otherwise we can get destroyed. 
don't think I can shoot backwards. So unless this guy goes behind us, which looks like he's smart enough to do. Oh god. Speed of one level we lose, maybe. They're just too smart, they won't let me get behind them. Okay, this guy looks like he's lost some of his power. So have we. Come on, get behind him. That's all we gotta do. Get behind this guy. Okay, finally he's letting us get behind him, it's good. Come on. That's all we need to do is get this guy down. Okay, it's one of his guns gone. This guy looks like he's lost power oh, now. He's getting back up. He's getting up behind us as well. Oh god. This is not good, guys. Come on, buddy. Use our one cannon. It's all we got, but make you could use it, please. Uh oh. I think our one cannon's on fire, guys. I don't think this is getting well. I really don't. Get in there, buddy. Oh my god, he keeps like reversing his position. I'm sure we're about to get him there. Oh, look at that! He's exploding! Oh, we're gonna go get this guy. Get this guy, please. Oh, oh, our movement's very sketchy at the moment. Go on, go to get him. Let's just go for this guy. This guy is being difficult. Let's go for this guy. We can at least get one kill here. It's going to explode! No, please no! Forced landing. We've got no weaponry, guys. Oh no, that's not good. I think this is this is the end of us. It's got to be. Supplies are gone. Repair is impossible. Okay, guys, what we're gonna do is we wrap the episode up here. I hope you did enjoy this quick preview. If you did, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. And we'll see you next time. Thank you guys for watching.